you know, if, if, look, if I said I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna make paranormal activity over again, yeah, that'd be bad, <laughs> you know. But if you say, I'm gonna take this element and put it in somewhere else. Um, the pitch, ever see Alien, you know, the original Aliens, right? What was, that was the pitch for that, it, it, it's a famous, was Jaws in Space. Jaws was a gigantic shark movie. They the first did the creator the word blockbuster. Blockbuster was created because the movie Jaws, because they were they had to go around the block with the lines. Uh, and Jaws in space was the pitch that Ridley Scott used. It's gonna be Jaws, but it's gonna be in space. You know, it's gonna be a monster. Boom, you got funded. So no, I think that's that's letting the person know or the audience know what the movie's about. You know, and, and, and it's very you can't you can't refer to a movie that no one's seen, you know. It's gonna be the croissant meets the chair. You know, it's like, what if I've never heard this movie. You know what I mean? So uh, it's gonna be stuff that you know. Cool. I think when I first saw um, To Kill a Mockingbird with Gregory Peck, oh, wow. uh, it just drew me in. I, I just felt so compelled watching Jem interact with all the adults and his sister and the story develop. I was like, my God, I, I, I wanna be a part of that. Um, so I started doing uh, local commercials and theater and, um, and then short films, um, and then my brother was a director, so we started making short films together, and then one thing just led to another, um, kind of like Tom talks about. Uh, you can't just you know, put, put your foot in the water. You, know, you kind of just have to jump in the pool, and um, that's, uh, that's kind of what, what I did, right? Yeah, that's yeah. What you did too. Totally. Mine was Star Wars. You know, I, 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 was, I saw in the theater, it was definitely less classy, but no, it was great. I mean, you know, and I, I said, you know, because the best part about a gr good film is it you, it's, you're on a journey like you're escaping, you know? Those two hours when you watch the movie, nothing else is going on. You're not worried about paying the rent, you're not worried about, you, you're just there, you know? And uh, that was the first one where I was like, wow, I'm so into this. I get chills just watching a movie, and I want to be part of that. You want to be Luke Skywalker. Yeah, I want to be Luke Skywalker, you know? But yeah, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be acting with Luke Skywalker, you know? I knew it was fantasy, but you know, so, and it wasn't real, so I just want to be up there and create those moments for other people. Uh, look, when I talk about that's kind of a bigger subject. When I talk to producers about financing films, one of the things I say is know your investor. You know, know the person, you know, and it's like know the studio guy. Um, if you're, if this person makes family films for kids and you go, I got a new, you know, I got the, the paranormal activity and people get their heads cut off or whatever, he's gonna go uh, get out of my office, you know? Um, so you need to know who you're pitching and kind of have an idea of, of what they're looking for and be confident in your story. If you were the guy and you said, it's boy, I bet, you know, paranormal activity in a plane, what the hell is that? I would say, no, but it's, it's awesome. The script is incredible. And I'd go into the details that we can't go into the complete details of the script, but I would, if I was pitching you, I'd say, because of this, that, and the other thing. And the story is really cool and, and, and tell you how it's different. So, meaning if your, your pain or your problem with it was that, oh, it's boring, it's been done before, I would come back with why it's not boring and why it hasn't been done before. Does that make sense? You know, we're out here, um, I've always, uh, you know, I've, I've kind of, we've noticed the trend of the international markets and, and, and the, the fact, like I mentioned, the economy is so strong and it kind of catch the wave um, and, and work a synergy with that. Uh, you know, and I grew up with, uh, around the Indian culture, you know, my best friends and their families uh, were all Gujarati and uh, used to speak a little Gujarati, I used to say Darunam Suche, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> And eat rotli. Where can you get good rotli around here? It's all naan and roti or something like that. You have rotli. Who's Gujarati? It's rotli, right? Roti. No, rotli. Roti. Yeah, thank you. It's rotli, right? I'm not, I'm not crazy. I didn't make that up. All right, fine. Um, thank God. But, you know, so I just wanted to come here, literally since I was a kid. Wanted to come here. And so it's like the time is, uh, you know, is now to come here. So, And then what the other question was the actors. Yeah, no, I mean, like, there's, we've met a lot, and there's no one specific um, that we could say. I mean, we were at a premiere of uh, Ferrari, Key, Sawari, and those actors were great. I mean, like, it was so, not was I, what I was expecting, you know, and, and it was so, they, meaning, you know, a lot of the, the, the former Bollywood cinema was grandiose and, you know, almost, you know, he does this and I do that, and, and uh, this, they were so reserved and, and internalizing, and the, the American cinema, especially from a producer standpoint, that's what you look for in the actors, that if I'm, talking to you, I'm talking to you like this, because I'm serious. You know, instead of talking to you like this, because I'm serious. You know what I mean? And so they look for that, and I saw that in those guys. And so we're just going to see who we can, you know, a lot of them were excited <laughs> to work in, in Hollywood, so we'll see if, uh, who fits. That's 
tougher, you know, it, it, I, I couldn't, you know, it'd be tougher to pinpoint a director and, and we haven't, we've met some directors but not as much, it seems the actors are the ones we're meeting a little bit more. And, and it's, it's um, that's a tough question to answer and, and if we could say there's one director's style that we like the best, I mean the guy that did that movie because he did that Three Idiots movie that he had seen and uh, was great, you know, but I can't say specifically besides that <laughs> who, you know, you're talking about, so. Well, no, I kind of did at the end there, you know, the saying that you're, you're programming it, your, you know, yourself. And, you know, I talked about having the passion for what you do. And it, if, you know, when you're setting that kind of goal in your head, I'm going to, you know, I'm, I have talent. I, you know, I'm going to be an actor. I'm going to be a director. I'm going to be the director. I'm going to direct action films, you know. And make it specific. And, you know, use all those elements. Make a date on it. I'm going, be an, I'm going to be directing my first action film by 2015, you know? And what I'm saying is that's the dialogue that you have to have in your head, that positivity, you know, instead of, oh, I don't know if I'm going to make it in the film business, you know? I'm in debt all the time. I'm in debt all the time. You know, that's the thing about it. I say the law of attraction. A law is a law, meaning the law of gravity, let's use. If I'm on top of this building and I jump, I am going to hit the ground, right? <laughs> doesn't matter if I'm a baby, if I'm an old man, if I'm an evil person, if I'm a good person, it does not matter. So think about that when you apply to the law of attraction. I'm in debt all the time. I never earn any money. I'm in debt all the time. It doesn't matter if I'm a good person. It doesn't matter if I've done great things. It doesn't matter. All I'm believing, all I'm creating in kind of the universe is that. So think about that and what do you want? What do you want to be? And focus on that and say that you can do it. There's a great phrase that I love is people who succeed believe that they will. You know, another fantastic one I think it was by Henry Ford is that whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. The good thing about being a writer, I mean, you have complete control of your story. Um, so, you know, whatever you create, um, you can, you know, in your brain, you can put on the screen. So, um, it's good to also be like the, the writer director, um, so you can you know put both of those together. Um, the bad thing is, is uh, it takes time. I mean, I've written scripts um, that I hate. You know that it took me a lot of time. Um, I, we haven't. I've written made one of our feature films yet that that I've written with my brother, um, just because it's a, it's a craft. It, which he, he's, he's yeah. really good at. I mean, you wrote two two of the, the features. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've sold 12 screenplays, so yeah, I mean, it's a craft, yeah, it's craft is right. And, <laughs> excuse me, a craft, something you have to work at. You know, so many people think, oh, I have a good idea, I can write a script. No, yeah, read. It those writing muscles. It's, it's yes. Like if you want to become strong, you go to the gym. Yeah. Right? Well, if you want to become a writer, you have to exercise. You have to, you know, wake up, set, set a separate time every day, two hours, to write. Um, because if you don't, then you won't exercise your writing muscles, you'll become weak, and your story will be flawed, and... And you know, another thing, putting in the gym analogy or anything, you know, you, you, need to, you need to know the right way to do it first. So I highly suggest to any writer to read scripts that you like. You know, I saw this movie or, you know, whatever it is, this Rowdy Rothorn or something like that. I love that script. Read the script and find out how they did it. And you know, it's back to this. It's not copying them. It's modeling them. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? You're not saying, you're saying, okay, this is how they wrote action. You know, there was one time there, uh, they wanted me to write an action script, something I got paid to do, and so I read The Dark Knight over it. Can I just, I, I, I would, my story had nothing to do with The Dark Knight. In fact, it was about rescuing animals. But I wanted to see how they wrote their action structures because I figured that movie made a billion dollars. <laughs> like, maybe I should take some tips from that script, you know what I mean? So, so modeling is, is very smart, you know. <laughs>